Hello, this is Dr. Umbach. We're here in Las Vegas. We're here at Blossom Bariatrics, and we're gonna have some fun in this video today because we're gonna talk about some common misconceptions about weight loss surgery or bariatric surgery. There's a lot of them out there, but I think I'm just gonna hit the highlights. Uh, perhaps the biggest one that I run into every day is that weight loss surgery is only for the morbidly obese. What does that mean? Morbidly obese typically means a BMI of 40 or more. What does that mean? That basically means you're 150 pounds overweight over your ideal body weight. And by that time, you probably already have diabetes developing and bad joints and bad back and maybe even heart disease. We know from many research studies coming out nowadays, it doesn't make sense to wait for all that to happen. In fact, it makes much more sense to do the surgery earlier on before the development of medical problems so that they don't develop it these things. So it's an important conversation to have. When you're 50 pounds overweight or so, you can help yourself tremendously by losing that weight. We know from many studies that you will live longer and be much healthier and be much happier by losing that weight early on instead of waiting for it to get out of control. So one of our, our misconceptions, weight loss surgery is for morbidly obese is clearly not true and we'd like to get rid of that. Okay, the second big misconception about weight loss surgery is that it's a cop-out. It's something that you should perhaps try harder at, and if you were truly persistent, you would succeed. And if you do surgery, you're copping out, you're taking the easy way out, you're cheating. Well, that's a huge myth, and nothing can be farther from the truth. The problem is, the human body is not designed to lose weight. We have all sorts of things that happen to us as we gain weight that sabotage us and go wrong to keep us from getting that weight off. Now, for example, the opposite is true. If we're starving, we do have things that keep us from starving and keep the weight on, but we don't have things that get the weight off. So there's nothing designed to help you lose the weight. We, come to, we see many patients who come in here who have been trying their hardest for years and years, working out and hours at a time every day, working with a, a personal doctor for years, and they can't lose the weight because the body sabotages you. The reason these operations are successful is because they affect the hormones in the body. They turn the hormones around so that you can do your job. So the job is tough, you gotta work at it, and with a little bit of work, and some, you'll get good success. But if you don't have weight loss surgery, you cannot get rid of those hormones that make you fat. It's ghrelin, it's the hunger hormone, it makes you hungry, it will win every time on the diet. So weight loss surgery is not a cop out, just like my glasses here are not a cop out. They help us do a job we need to do. Okay, lastly, we're gonna talk about the last myth for weight loss surgery, and that is that it's too expensive or you can't afford it. This is a little bit harder to discuss because I think the first thing you need to realize is that any medical problem ha is expensive. For example, take diabetes. The cost of insulin therapy for diabetes is, runs patients hundreds and hundreds of dollars every month. So there's a real cost to that. Well, they've looked at this, Johns Hopkins looked at this and saw that patients who are obese spend more than $30,000 over their lifetime for healthcare costs. You can also look at the costs of losing work, being nearly $100,000 over a lifetime of a patient, and you can, of course, need to consider the cost of all the other weight loss therapies that are tried out there, the numerous diets and pills and shots. Those are very expensive. They add up over time. So I think if you add all those together, you would come up with a much, much bigger number than it costs to actually do the surgery. Here at Blossom Bariatrics, we strive to offer any option possible to get our patients to surgery because we want you to succeed. We have everything in house to make it as easy and reasonable as possible. We have our pricing for our cash pay as low as possible. We work with multiple finance companies to make it as low as possible. So we are number one in terms of creating opportunities for everybody to be able to afford bariatric surgery. Okay, those are just a few of the common misconceptions about bariatric surgery. The fact that you should only do it if you're morbidly obese, please don't wait till then. You don't want to be 150 pounds overweight with severe diabetes and bad knees. Let's take care of this now, earlier on, and you'll be much more successful. People, 
Even friends like to say you're copping out, you're taking the easy way out, you're cheating. It's not a cheat. It re-alters your body to help you lose the weight in a positive way. And it's not cheating. It requires some effort and work to do that. And then you can't afford it. The costs of being heavy and having medical problems in the USA are tremendous. And clearly you can't afford not to do it. So please visit us here at Blossom Bariatrics. Go on our website, learn more about this. Call us, come in for a consult. We'd love to talk more about the myths about bariatric surgery. Thanks.